Welcome back. I've got some unexpected fun for you today because I've got something on that, well, everyone goes like, well, that's just for the boys. That's just for the young kids. And this is something that started back in 1992. And 1992 is a long time ago. So back then, there were a lot of people who were young people. And you think, like, this is just for guys? This is just for no. boys? When you bring up the term Mortal Kombat, what happens to Natalie Herbert? I got very excited. Ooh, I was did. like, this brings me back to my youth, my childhood. I would play against my brother, Scorpion, and yep. Sub-Zero, and Johnny Cage. The lady who lives in my ear got all excited. She's hollering out titles and names <laughs> and talking about her kids getting excited. And this is really, and it's, it's a violent game. I mean, it's been around a long time. I know, now you bring that up and I feel bad because I don't really like to promote violence, but it's a, it was a fun game as a kid. Thankfully, it, it never prompted me to do anything else. And you'll recognize <laughs> a lot of folks that you've seen in a lot of other movies in this. We get a chance to talk to some of the folks in it. Check it out. It's a brand new Mortal Kombat. Throughout history, different cultures all over the world reference a great tournament of champions. Born as a video game in 1992, Mortal Kombat has become one of the highest grossing and most successful media franchises of all time. Here we go again. The fate of Earth is in our hands. Cole is the, uh, he is the audience's perspective into this world, but he's also a man who's, who's, who's missed his mark, who's missed his chance, who's missed his opportunity as a man. No matter how many of my people you put in the ground, not fail. Kill them. It's a dance. It really is dancing, and you have to have a good partner. So, for instance, Joe Taslam is, is a fantastic partner. He knows rhythm, timing, and we can work off each other. We know how to look like we're hitting each other really hard and not kill each other. You know what I mean? And that's so important. All the women in this film play really, really you know, powerful roles and, uh, and uh, have, a, have a lot of crazy fight scenes and, and they're very uh, strong written characters as well as physical characters. So I think that that's, that's necessary and, and needed and uh, it's about time that, you know, we show that type of thing. Melina has this horrible, horrible, like, detachable jaw where the Tarkatan teeth come out and the slippery tongue comes out and you know she's got these like bright yellow eyes that have they're just like piercing not only do they not need people to save them people have to be saved from them epitome of strong female characters whether evil or not so yeah it's fabulous I am Sub-Zero there's just so many fabulous, brilliant artists on this project. Everyone, costume, makeup, props, the people who built the set, insane. What I love about this is in some places there's going to be a parent talking about how much they like this character and that character and then the little kids are going, yeah, but I like this one too and they're all getting involved in it. I mean, the list of Mortal Kombat stuff is this long. There's the movies, there's a million games and it's got a big history back to 1992. A lot of folks are going to enjoy it and you can see it in theaters and on HBO Max tomorrow. So have a good time with Mortal Kombat.